Okay, so let's jump right in. Um, firstly, you'll need to grab the actual code. So that is at uh, github.com slash valve software slash source SDK 2013. So today we'll be downloading and just setting up the mod in Steam. Nothing will work after today's video. So uh, if you go ahead and download a zip of this, or with a git client, you can copy the, the you can clone the whole repository. Uh, I used a git client called source tree to clone the whole repository, but because there's not that many updates on this, um, you can probably get away with just downloading the zip and manually merging in changes. Um, but don't worry about that too much. So let's go ahead and see what happens when you download it. So this is what you'll get when you finish downloading the code. You'll have an MP and an SP folder, so that's multiplayer and single player. With multiplayer, if you go into multiplayer game, you'll have one mod that you can create, so that's nice and easy. But if you go into single player, you'll have a couple mods. Now these are the actual mods. Uh, these folders up here are just uh, scene files, so you don't really need to worry about them too much. But um, you need to make the decision whether you're going to make an episodic mod or a Half-Life 2 mod. So Half-Life 2 is kind of vanilla Half-Life 2. Episodic, uh, it's episode 2. So you get the Magnuson device, for example, and the, the separate uh, flashlight HUD. So if we go ahead and open source mods, uh, so that's in my Steam folder, I'm going to go ahead and put them side by side. I'm going to make an episodic single player mod. So using the uh, link shell extension I've linked to in the description, uh, I'm going to right click drag that folder into source mods, uh, drop here, and then I'm going to drop a symbolic link. And what that does is it makes a kind of shortcut that's a bit more than a shortcut, but it just basically acts as a shortcut um, to the operating system. So that has been created now. So now to Steam, that looks like I have that folder in there where in fact it's just a shortcut to this one. That just makes it easier for kind of compiling code and managing things. So let's try start up Steam. Now if you make any changes to your source mods directory, you will need to restart Steam before it'll work. So just bear that in mind. So there we go, my first episodic mod, that's all working. So in the next video we'll get the code compiled and uh, we'll make it so you can actually start the mod.